Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, April 20th. Uh, finally getting around to making this garage sale haul video. I had every intention on making it Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, and I just got swamped with work. Uh, people bringing in stuff like crazy for me to sell for my auction website, and it's just hard to keep up with. But nonetheless, here we are. So let's get through it. All right. First off, I found a Chicken Dancer Elmo. Uh, new in the package. He's a little bit dusty because he was down in the basement. Um, if you guys watched my video Friday, I found this in the lady's basement. Um, she invited me in and, you know, had all kinds of stuff. So this is something I found there. Um, I bundled everything together, so kind of breaking prices down as best I can with things. Um, but I uh, ended up paying about 4 bucks for this, and I should be able to get 25 for it. found another Elmo there. I guess this lady really liked Elmo. So this is the Hokey Pokey Elmo. Uh, also new, but also pretty dusty. Um, again, this one was about four, but I should be able to get about 45 for this one. I picked up these. It's a Samson wireless microphone handheld system. Uh, so comes with the microphone, comes with this little wireless system here. Uh, Everything's new. It's, I, I pulled it out. It's completely sealed in the plastic and everything. Um, got this for seven bucks. Um, there aren't a whole lot of comps for it, but from what I've seen, anywhere from like forty to eighty bucks, um, I should be able to get sixty for it. Probably worst case scenario, but I started it at eighty, and I can always come down from there. This bird clock, I almost overlooked. Um, so I was at a yard sale Saturday where I got those foo dogs. If you guys watched that video, those big Chinese, like, cat-looking statues. And they had a ton of stuff. I got, like, bow speakers, stereos, those foo dogs, a guitar, just tons and tons of stuff. And then I walked back through and found this clock, and they were only asking two bucks for it. It didn't have the batteries, but they were nice enough to go inside and grab some batteries and let me test it. Everything works. This thing actually plays a different sound each hour, obviously depending on what bird it is. Um, I looked these up. They're going anywhere from like 10 to 40 bucks, but it looks like almost all of them are selling. I mean, it has like a 95% sell rate, so I'm thinking I should be able to get about 30 bucks for it. This was my big score. Um, I honestly had no idea what this was. I just thought it looked cool. Um, the guy told me it was a shooting bag. And I looked up the brand. And it's CC Filson. So apparently this is a really good brand. Sells really well. Um, again, not a lot of comps on this. There's one, I think there was one sold shooting bag. Which, you know, tells me it must be pretty hard to find. Um, I think the one sold for around 80 So I'm thinking that's probably what I should be able to get for it. I listed it 100 or best offer. So we'll just kind of go from there. But it looks like CC Filson has a lot of different stuff. Um, jackets, belts, just all kinds of clothes. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for that brand. Picked up a softball bat. This is a girl's softball bat. Um... It is 32 inches, so probably, you know, like high school, middle school age, something like that. Uh, no dents or cracks. I paid two bucks for it, and it's selling for 50 Good thing is it's got the newer stamp on it, um, the 1.20, this little thumbprint thing is what they call it, thumbprint stamp. It's in good shape. It's got a good grip, so it should do pretty good on this one. Found another bird-related item, actually at a different yard sale than the clock. This thing helps you identify uh, bird songs. So it's got all these cards. You put the card in the thing, press the button, and it plays the song. I haven't even tested this yet. Um, it takes AAA batteries, so I need to. I know I've got batteries around the warehouse somewhere. I just have to find them. Uh, but I'll test it before I list it. Um, I only paid two bucks for it, but it's going for about thirty. Uh, I've got the bag, everything, it's clean. 
as long as it works, you know, should be good. So that was definitely a nice little pickup there. Something oddball that, you know, you just look up and find out that it's worth decent money. All right, here's my bad buy of the weekend. Uh, got this Sony VHS tape. It's sealed, but there was only one of them. Um, I gave a buck for it, and then I soon realized how, how dumb it was. These don't really sell that well individually, but if you get a pack of like five or six or ten, they sell really well. I've sold packs of ten pretty well in the past, but you know, just one of these, I might get two or three dollars, but then I, it's free shipping, and it's really just not worth it. I'll probably just hang on to it until I find some more and then just throw this in as an extra. But yeah, probably shouldn't have even really bothered picking this up. Found this Alesis Nanoverb FX processor. Um, paid three for it and already sold it for 30 bucks. It just sold maybe like 20 minutes ago. Uh, really clean. Uh, it's for music. You know, same. Same spot I found the microphone. All right, finally, we got a VHS DVD recorder. It's a Toshiba. Um, I've bought and sold a lot of these things. What I've seen is that Toshiba and Panasonic are like the two best brands to get these recorders. Um, a lot of the other ones will sell, you know, like Samsung, Philips, you know, I think Sony is a pretty good one too, but from what I from what I've experienced, Toshiba and Panasonic sell the highest. Uh, this one did not have a remote, which sucks. Um, it seems to work. Everything everything seems to be fine with it. It was only five bucks. You know, well I couldn't pass it up. It sells for fifty. The kicker though is if it has a remote, it goes for over a hundred bucks. But you, I cannot find a remote. I think I I found one on Amazon, but they wanted like sixty five seventy dollars just for the remote. I'm, I'm not paying that just to get my money back on that. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But that's all I got, guys. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll be hitting some more yard sales. Going to find some more stuff. If you like the video, please subscribe. Hit the icon in the corner, and we'll see you next time.